is never tan at all. In this episode of Cobb TV, we are talking about the drumming style of Jimmy Chamberlain from The Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. Now, Jimmy Chamberlain is a dedicated endorser of Yamaha drums and has said that that is just as important as his playing to the Smashing Pumpkins sound. Her Jimmy Chamberlain is an amazing drummer with a variety of influences from John Bonham to Keith Moon to Dennis Chambers to Alex Acuna and Tony Williams. And if you listen to the song Drown from the Smashing Pumpkins earlier career, you can hear some of that funky jazzy style in his playing. Jimmy Chamberlain was recording the first Smashing Pumpkins album, he has said that he tried to throw in as many of his chops as possible so that if the band didn't work out, he could use that album as sort of a business card to showcase his playing style. But eventually he would fall suit and use his skills in a more complimentary way of the music. And if you listen to the song United States off the album Zeitgeist, you can hear him playing a double paradiddle in a musical way, coming up with this tribal beat that really, really complements the sound and style of that song. Smashing Pumpkins song I ever played on drums was actually Share of Rock because of the video game Rock Band. Shout out to those of you who remember playing on those four circular noisy drum pads. Leave a comment if you remember the Rock Band days. But that intro rhythm was such an infectious groove that I would play it in my class. I'd be tapping that beat everywhere between my hands and feet so much that I even got detention. Jimmy Chamberlain has described his playing as lyrical when he records music for the Smashing Pumpkins. He likes to have the lyrics on a music stand so that he can try to play lyrically on his drums. And if you listen to the song Bullet with Butterfly Wings, he starts out by locking in with the bass, but once the main vocals start to intensify, he accents what Billy Corgan is singing on the snare drum and really explodes heavy into the chorus on that one. The world is a vampire. Jimmy Chamberlain with his jazzy and funky influences does such a good job of changing the groove halfway between the idea and today is one of those great examples of that.
earlier I mentioned that Keith Moon was a big influence on his playing and if you listen to the end portion of The Everlasting Gaze, you can hear him playing some Keith Moon styled fills with his own nuances and flair on that one. Jimmy Chamberlain isn't all about chops and busy playing. He knows how to serve a song. And when you listen to the Smashing Pumpkins' most popular tune, 1979, you can hear him playing the whole song with just one groove all the way through. The same beat over and over and over. It doesn't even switch to the ride cymbal during the chorus on the recording, nor is there one single drum fill on that song. Now one of the more subtle things that Jimmy Chamberlain likes to do is always keep time with his left foot on the hi-hat. It probably comes from his jazz influences. And if you listen to the song Tonight Tonight, he's doing quarters on the hi-hat, doing eighth notes on the bass drum. And it's just one of my favorite examples of his playing because he starts out with a real orchestral pattern, goes into a nice open halftime feel, which he was influenced by Brian Eno to kind of pull back during that section. And then the verses, he's playing a Latin style clave groove inspired by Alex Acuna of Weather Report. just a few small examples of Jimmy Chamberlain's playing. He's one of those players where I wish there was more isolated drum tracks of him because he does a lot of subtle things that get lost in the mix. So just listen to all the records, watch a lot of videos. Because he comes from a jazz background, he plays in the moment a lot and changes up a lot of what he did on the recordings to what he does live in that moment. So again, just watch a lot of videos on him if you really want to emulate his style. And of course, please like and subscribe for more epic musical content. Leave a comment of some of your favorite Jimmy Chamberlain grooves and Smashing Pumpkins songs. But in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and 